Hello everyone and welcome to another part of the Unity scripting tutorial. In this video I wanted to show you how you can make an object in Unity look uh, in the direction of wherever your mouse is on the screen. So um, we're going to be looking at both perspective and orthographic cameras. We're going to start with orthographic first. And uh, they both require different implementations so you can use whichever one that you're using in your game. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is create our script. So let's make a script called mouse look at and attach that script to our object. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, first we are using a uh, an orthographic camera and for an orthographic camera this is really easy to do all you would need to do is just tell the object so transform dot look at and it will be looking at the camera dot main dot screen to world point and the world and the screen point that we want to look at is the input dot mouse position of course, if you have multiple cameras, you can specify whichever camera that you want, but since we only have one, I'm just using camera.main, but you can use whichever one that, you're, that you need to use. Okay, and uh, yeah, for orthographic cameras, that should be it if we run the scene. And as you can see, the object is looking at where the mouse is. Okay, so, um, this covers orthographic cameras so let's move on to perspective and i'll show you why this this method does not work in perspective um so what the what this function returns the camera dot main screen to world point is the exact point where your mouse is on the screen uh in the world so most likely it's going to be where this near uh, the near clip plane is. So if we try to run this, the object will not even try to look at it because as far as it's concerned, this area is so small that it doesn't need to really look in any other direction. It's just looking straight ahead. So how would we solve this in perspective cameras? What we can do is, we can make it look at somewhere in between where the camera is and where the object is. So somewhere right in the middle because the clip plane will be much bigger. So uh, let's take a look at how we can do this. First thing we would need to do is create a ray and this ray will be called mouse ray and this will be equal to camera dot main dot screen point to ray this time of the input dot mouse position. Of course, we can comment this out for now. So, this is just for the orthographic camera. And next up, uh, now we have our mouse ray. And what this does is it creates a raycast from your where your mouse is and in the direction of where the camera is heading. So. Um, if you're, let's say, in the top right corner of the screen, it will be that white line right here. Okay, so we have our ray. All we would need to do now is get a, a point where it's in the middle of, it's in a, in a, at a distance between where the object is and where the camera is. So our midpoint will be, so float midpoint is going to be equal to our transform dot position so where our object is minus the camera dot main dot transform dot position and that will be the magnitude of that subtraction so the distance between the two but we only care about the distance so we can get just the magnitude okay so we have the distance we have our ray so all we need to do is move along that ray to where the distance is so the half point of course 
the midpoint will be that magnitude times 0 0.5 yeah. so we're going half the magnitude finally the point that we're going to be looking at will be so we'll say transform dot look at mouse ray dot origin where the origin to uh, origin of our ray is plus the mouse ray dot direction direction of our ray times the midpoint how far we want to travel along that ray there we go and if we run that as you can see the object is looking at where the mouse is on the camera if I go ahead and move the camera there for example and rotate it down so that we can see the object and run this as you can see it's still looking at where the camera is uh, this should work even if the camera is pretty close to the object as well so if I move it much closer and there we go so this covers how you can make an object look at where you're pointing on the screen um, in both perspective and orthographic cameras I really hope this video helped you out. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.